right, today we are reviewing Huda Beauty's new Faux Filler Glosses. This is the shade Foxy. It's what's on my lips right now. They also sent me this in PR, so I just want to disclose that I have all the shades here to swatch, test, and try out for you guys today. Really, really, really excited and very, very grateful that they sent me this in PR. They also sent me all of their lip liners, and a while back they sent me two shades of this, Pinky Brown and Warm Brown, and I've been using them on repeat because they stay on the lips so long. I love this Lip Contour 2.0 formula, so I'm really, really excited and very, very grateful to have the other shades. We're also going to swatch these and get into that. There are seven shades of this Faux Filler Gloss. We have Glassy, which is just clear. Honey, which is a light pink foxy that I have on my lips in the beginning of this video. Sugar Baby, Posh, Bombshell, and Cocoa. For the lip liners, we have Muted Pink, Deep Rose, Rich Brown, Pinky Brown, Warm Brown, and Terracotta. Now the Pinky Brown and Warm Brown that are in this packaging, I'm going to keep in this packaging because I already own them. So there's no need to open them and let them expire. I don't know. Those might go in a giveaway. They might end up going to a family member, but we're not going to open them for now. I want to start by just talking about the formula of this gloss because I have worn it a couple times all day now and I'm excited to get into the swatches. But just to begin with, this gloss is not a sticky gloss. It's a very nourishing gloss, but it is a thick gloss. So it's opaque. There's a lot of color to it, and something that is really, really unique about this gloss that you can only find in a couple other products on the market, in my humble opinion, is that after you let it sink into the lips for a little bit, it kind of fills in those lines, which gives the illusion of a plumper lip. Like, at first you'll put it on and it almost looks streaky, and you're like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like this. And then you wait just a little bit longer, and it like evens out and kind of plumps those fine lines, which is extremely flattering on anyone, especially if you are of a more more mature age and it's a very nourishing thick formula which I like without it being sticky and this is a true gloss it is not a oil it's just really nice now this is a high shine blurring and smoothing effect infused with vegan collagen their faux filler extra shine lip gloss this retails for $19 on the Sephora website. It says it's a hydrating, non-sticky lip gloss for high shine lips that visibly smooths and blurs fine lines, and I 100% agree. It is hydrating and moisturizing. There's vegan collagen that smooths the look of lips. There's vegan collagen which smooths the look of lip lines. It's free of sulfates, SLS, and SLES. And it says that the hydrating fine line smoothing formula melts onto the lips with a non-stick reflective glass-like finish. Packed with lip-loving active ingredients like vitamin E infused with vegan collagen for comfortable coverage that moisturizes the lips. It comes along with a big juicy doe foot with an innovative reservoir that holds the max formula for instant glossy lips. That is true. We're going to get into the, the ginormous doe foot applicator on this. It looks like it has 867 reviews and uh, it has a 4.8. Let me tell you, you can almost see yourself in the reflection of this gloss. It looks shiny. I am obsessed with it. It's glossy, but not overly sticky. It's super comfortable to wear all day, not heavy at all. Just raving reviews. Really, 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 really great formula. There's a little guide here as well where you pair the gloss with the Lip Contour 2.0. So we're going to do that since that is their actual suggestion. We're going to swatch them all first though. Start with the lip liners. Here we have Muted Pink. Next we have Pinky Brown, next we have a Warm Brown, then we have Deep Rose, Terracotta, which I think I'm really going to like this shade, and last but not least, Rich Brown. It looks like the lip liner retails for $21, which is kind of pricey, but I will say these lip liners have a sharpener on the back and they are such a creamy yet not a movable texture. So it goes on really, really smooth and you can build it up, but they don't seem to move or spread around. Like they kind of set. They're really, really easy to work with and they have lasted longer on my lips than any other lip liner I have noticed in my personal career. I'm trying to figure out where to swatch the gloss. I guess we're gonna go down my arm. First is, that's a very thick formula. But first is Glassy. Next we have Honey. These gloss, so opaque. Then we have a Sugar Baby, which is just a beautiful baby pink. Then we have Foxy. Posh. 
which is like a cool brown color. It's very unique. Bombshell, which is like a mauve rose color. And last but not least, we have Cocoa, which is just like a true brown. This would be impeccably beautiful on darker skin tones. Just stunning. I just wiped that with my cellar water and it's not coming off. I've really got a scrub here. That, to me, is a really good lip liner because it goes on so smooth and creamy you would not think it's that long lasting. I'm gonna start by removing what's on my lips right now. Go over my lips with my foundation brush for whatever's left on there. So we get a really fair starting point. The first combo they suggest is the muted pink lip liner with Sugar Baby Gloss. It's a little bit lighter than what I'm used to and a little bit cooler, but I've been trying to learn my colors recently and that might actually be my color. Like this top might not be the best top for me. I think I'm a clear or a bright spring. Not entirely sure. I digress because that is a rabbit hole I don't want to get into today. All right, I think it's really pretty nonetheless. Next is pairing the terracotta lip liner with the honey gloss. I'm really excited for this combo. Oh yeah, I love that lip liner color already. There's the lip liner. Now pairing it with shade Honey. Now, do you see what I mean about it not looking good immediately? But giving it just a little bit of time, it starts to really fill in the lips and make them look so plump. I don't know how to explain it. If you know, you know. I really like this combo. This is like a little bit more toned down for me and I'm here for it. Next, we have the warm brown lip liner paired with the Foxy lip gloss. I love this lip liner. <laughs> This is the one I use probably the most often. Now we're going to try out the shade Foxy Gloss. That's stunning. Next is the duo Pinky Brown Lip Liner and Bombshell Lip Gloss. Pinky Brown is another one of those that are like my go-tos. So there is the lip liner. Now let's add shade Bombshell on top. A lot of gloss comes out on these, a lot, which gets scary. I'm like mm, nervous every time I open it. So that's like a slight complaint, but I think the suction is what puts so much on the unique doe foot applicator. A very thick, big applicator with like a swoop in it and it collects a lot of product, deposits a lot of product. My first thought is that this is just really incredibly beautiful. I really like this color. And in the, I didn't think I was gonna like it in the tube. I, I do. Next is the duo Posh and Very Berry, but I don't have that shade. I don't have, I have Posh, but I don't have Very Berry. Instead I have Deep Rose, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna pair Deep Rose Lip Liner with Posh Gloss. There's the lip liner. Now we're gonna go in with Posh Lip Gloss. I like this a lot in kind of almost a gothic kind of way. Hear me out because it has like a purple undertone, a very muted purple undertone, but I think that this would look really good with some cool toned makeup. The model that was wearing that was had beautiful melanin, much deeper than I. Um, but I still think it works for other skin tones, you know what I'm saying? But I am glad that the range, of course Huda Beauty never struggles with range, but I'm just glad that the range covers. Because sometimes we will see that to this day, ranges that do not cover the full extent of how different we are as individuals and that's just upsetting. The next pairing is a rich brown lip liner with Cocoa Gloss. This is a very chocolatey, very beautiful deep brown color, both of these. There is the lip liner, as you can see, a very <laughs> deep brown. And I'm just laughing because I look like I'm from the 90s. I didn't do this on the lap lip... I did not do this on the last lip liner gloss duo, but I am going to do it on this one. And I'm just going to take a little brush and feather the lip liner out a little bit. So when we put this gloss on, it just looks a little bit more cohesive and blended. See the difference that that gave? It just makes it a little bit more subtle. I don't know. Now here we go in with the gloss. Coco. I don't know why I was looking. I know that. I'm 
This is beautiful. I love a good chocolate brown lip. Something about it. And this is perfect all the time. Not too warm, not too cool. Huda Beauty, you did that. Now that my lips are so raw, <laughs> the only gloss we technically did not try on camera is this glassy gloss. It is a clear gloss and obviously you could pair this with any of the lip liners, I'm sure. But what's interesting to me is that on the guide, they have the lip liner shade Very Berry, but I don't and wasn't sent that one. I was sent Deep Rose, so I don't know if that was intentional, but that is where I... Very Berry was paired with Posh, which was the second to last swatch we did. And I'm just confused. I went ahead and just substituted this one for that, but I'm interested because I think that this with clear gloss would be a little bit deep, like it isn't something I normally would go for, but I digress. I was gonna use the one we hadn't used, the lip liner we hadn't used, but we did use all seven of them. I even double checked, these are pink and warm brown, which I already have right here, pink and warm brown. So interesting to me, nonetheless, I'm going to use pinky brown and I'm gonna line my lips and we're gonna put the clear gloss on. And my lips hurt. This is very neutral. You guys seen that in the last, in the swatch, in the try on. But this one's like cold. <laughs> the high shine is undeniable. Like this is one of the highest shine glosses I've ever used in my life. And it's very thick. So it's like nourishing, but it's thick without being sticky, which is, it just feels wrong. Like it feels like it should be sticky, but it's not. And that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Let me tell you that much. I just feel like it makes your lips appear so much bigger. All the claims are correct. I am a huge fan of Huda Beauty. Um, their faux filler line that they came out with, like my final thoughts, 10 out of 10. Do you need all seven shades? Absolutely not. But pick up your favorite. Maybe this swatch video helped you narrow down your favorite based on what you wear the most. Of course, it is such a flattering clear gloss, but I wouldn't get a clear gloss from a brand with like, in my, like I would just get a more affordable clear gloss, you know what I'm saying? Cause like most clear glosses perform the same. I will say like this is incredibly similar to the Maybelline Lifter glosses. If you are looking for something that is a dupe, I have one right here in the shade Stone. It's one of my favorites. And I think it is a literal, it's kind of a mix between foxy and honey, um, but it leans a little bit more like foxy. If you're looking for something more affordable, I just wanna add that option in, but I am incredibly grateful for Huda Beauty sending me this PR package. The Lip Contour 2.0s are the best lip liners I think I have ever used. The fact that they dry down like they do, they go on so creamy, so smooth, so easily. They don't rough up your lips. There's a sharpener with them. The only thing I wish is that it was a pencil that was sharpenable so that I could use it in my makeup kit, but obviously I can't because it's not a sharpenable pencil. But that that's just me as a makeup artist. If you as a consumer are just buying for your own pleasure and your own wear, then I would find a shade that complements you, that you like, because this is gonna last you forever. And the way that it wears, again, is unlike any lip liner that I have tried prior. So if you struggle with your lip liner staying on, it's one of my favorites. That's all I gotta say about that. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want more in-depth reviews of things like this, let me know. Be sure to let me know and I will make sure to do that for y'all. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.